So the first block diagram of AMD's Ryzen 5000 series Cezanne CPUs based on the Zen 3 architecture have been leaked out by video cards. The block diagram shows that AMD's Ryzen 5000 Cezanne APUs will be sporting some major design changes and are not just a general refresh of existing third generation Ryzen 4000 series Renoir APUs. The AMD Ryzen 5000 series Cezanne CPUs or APUs will be featured on both mobility and desktop platforms. We will first get to see them in action in mobility front with an announcement expected next week at CES 2021. The Ryzen 5000H and Ryzen 5000U processors based on the Zen 3 core architecture will be adopted by all major OEM partners of AMD. We will also get to see AMD Ryzen laptop CPUs paired with the Nvidia's flagship GeForce RTX GPUs for the first time. In terms of configurations, Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 CPUs will feature up to 8 cores and 16 threads, 4 megabytes of L2 cache, and 16 megabytes of L3 cache, and 8 enhanced Vega GPU compute units for a total of 512 cores. Yes, Vega again, but just work with it here. The L3 cache has seen the biggest upgrade as it's been limited to just 8 megabytes on Ryzen 4000 Renoir CPUs. It will definitely help boost the overall CPU and GPU performance of these chips. And looking at the block diagram, the Ryzen 5000 series Cezanne CPU is larger than the Ryzen 4000 Renoir. So it's expected to be somewhere around 175 millimeters squared, which is 20 millimeters squared larger than Renoir, which has a die size of 156 millimeters squared. Now it goes without saying that AMD has even more powerful Cezanne H CPUs planned for an announcement at their CES 2021 keynote in January. We have seen the Ryzen 9 5900H and the Ryzen 9 5900HX CPUs leak out earlier. And while Intel has Tiger Lake H around the same time as Cezanne H, it looks to be Blue Team is going to face a very heated battle in the high performance notebook segment this year. It also looks like major OEMs will be shipping AMD Ryzen 5000 series notebooks with top of the line NVIDIA RTX GPUs which will further carry away the appeal that Intel had enjoyed in the high-end gaming notebook segment for a while now. Also related to the Ryzen 5000 series mobility launch, Digitimes has reported that Zen 3 based notebooks are expected to be in short supply in Q1 of 2021. So it's not going to be a hard launch as everyone might have expected and kind of just fits the bill with the way everything else has gone lately. So let us know what you have to think about that and for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.